it's Christina from Sweet Hot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to go through and show you the room that I had, which was on the eighth floor, and it was a balcony suite. And we didn't have um, much room in the bathroom, but this, it does have a bathroom and a shower, and it has an extra area like you can do your makeup at. Then the balcony, you can walk out to it because some rooms just have a window, but we actually had a door. And then I'll show you some of the food we had. We had um, our first dinner. I ended up getting steak and then the lava, molten lava cake. Then after dinner, we went and roamed around and looked at some of the door decorations. We hadn't decorated our door yet. But some of them are very interesting, and they go all out. Some of them are very risque. This is not my door or my hand. <laughs> but some of them are interactive and cool, very cool ideas. These were on our floor, so I just took them on the way back to our room. So no offense, this is all in good fun. And now I'm going to go back to some of the things I was talking about in my part one video. Check out part two. Going back to that, so the sail away party, I was kind of like disgruntled a little bit because I want to be up there like with the press and I want to be up there with the um, the official photographers and the official like filmers. Like that's where I want to be. That's where I want to be because I'm a blogger. I want to get the best shot. I want to interview them. I want to talk to them. I want to interact with them, right? So I'm like disgruntled. And I wanted to be like up in there and, but yet I didn't ask to be, you know, up in there. And I would, I didn't like approach any of their managers to like, see if I could do sort of like a press spot. But, um, I was going as a fan and so I was like, okay, cool, calm down. And then, um, when I went to the game show, it was pretty cool because, you know, like they come into the crowd and stuff and I had a really good seat to where when they did come to the crowd, they were right there. And then same thing with the Joe when he did his little routine. And I just felt like, oh, this is such, oh my gosh. Like, I was so obsessed with that song for like the last like year and a half. And um, yeah, that was just sort of like a magical moment, even though it's just a song. Like, it's like those little signs that you get. Like you're, it's just like that deja vu type sign. And you're like, wow. I totally saw this or, or had this experience like before I got here. And then, um, so then that night, like, you know, you're partying and dancing and having fun and like, it started raining, which I don't care that it started raining, but um, it was like pouring and raining at a certain point, but actually it felt good because it's a little bit hot still in October and you're like moving around and singing and doing everything. And so I, it actually felt good. But then like you had spent all this time on your makeup or hair or whatever. I didn't care because I just like kind of tried to like, I had this little, it was like sort of like a, it wasn't a scarf. It was like a, I guess for your shoulders, like, and, um, so my roommate had given me that. And so I used it to like, kind of like cover. No, she was using it as the thing. And then, um, so she had given it to me and so that was cool. And then, yeah, and that was just funny because then the guys were just like all like undressed and taken off their things and just trying to get like comfortable but really it was like a treat for the fans because they were like yes they're taking off their clothes or their shirts and so that was pretty funny and I didn't like I knew like at some points they do that as part of their choreography but it was funny because they just like went and it, they played raining men and everything and then um what else oh yeah so they were just like walking around in the crowd. And then um, some of the 
well, the guys, you know, they'll drink and stuff. So sometimes they're like so funny when they've been drinking, like a lot more fun because they are funny guys already. But when they've been drinking, oh, yeah, they get like, they're just more comfortable. They're more like at ease, like because they're drinking. And so then, oh my gosh, they're so funny. So that was a treat too. And um, so then I stayed out. I tried to stay out the whole time. I think I did. The first night I stayed out like the whole time until kind of like checking out. Because I didn't want to miss the beach. So that's another thing to keep in mind too. Like when you're on this cruise is to, yes, enjoy it and try to stay out. But also remember, you know, the itinerary because um, the guys are going to be there. And if you want to have any type of opportunity to like meet them or talk to them or take a picture with them, then you can't be asleep in your room, even though it's a vacation. Like a lot of times when I go on vacations to other places, it's like, I don't want to, even though I want an awesome room, <laughs> I always want a, an awesome room and an awesome view. But then it's like, do you really stay in there the whole time? No, you're like out and you're in the resort and you're in the whatever town you, you know country you're in so yeah and now I was going to tell you that another cute moment that happened was Joe had oh so a Joey girl had I guess like performed a song so I went back and I looked they were a married couple and so they had known she was a Joey girl so they said wanna to the married couple and then Joey was dancing with the girl. Well, I mean, both of them. And then it was so funny because they had put, like, genuine pony. And they were all, like, crying. It was so hilarious. And, like, the girl I was with, um, she, one of them, she's a Joey girl. And so I, I have a hard time calling them Joey because I remember it was Joe. <laughs> so anytime I say Joe... That's Joey. And um, so that was funny. I had went to my second concert, I guess. I had gotten, um, so thankful, I had gotten a uh, bar stool. And when I had sat down, I was like, that's what we see. And then when I saw her husband, I was like, oh, that's the people from the cruise. And so that was so funny because um, I recognized him from that. And then they were, like, super nice and were telling me, like, how the bar stools were because, like, I had never been to a concert. And I had never been to a bar stool. So that was cool and fun meeting them. And um, that was just funny because, like, shout out to them. Like, that was a cool moment of that first night and, like, special for them. So... I don't know what else highlights to like mention but um at one point Jordan like came into the crowd and he's my favorite so I was like she's coming into the crowd you know and it was near me so I was just like looking over at him and you can see in my footage that I posted um I posted like a separate like of footage and then um that was kind of scary <laughs> even though like he wasn't coming towards me and I didn't actually get a picture with him and stuff I don't know why I was just so scared and then um you know earlier like I could have gotten a selfie and I I was too scared and that's what I'm saying like don't be scared just do it you know and um so up to this point like I had never been to a concert I had never been to a cruise nothing the the last time I went to a concert was um San Francisco for the Magic Summer Tour. And so I had like never seen them or met them or nothing. I have not bought tickets or gotten tickets and like went to a concert like ever. And then this was like the first time I had been like to one of their things. And so, um, yeah, I was definitely looking forward to the theater concert night, which I think was the next night. I got to look at the schedule. And, um, then, of course, the meet and greet. That was going to be the first time I was ever going to meet them. And then, um, yeah, I had a birthday party to celebrate with them, too. But, yeah.
will see you. Okay, stay tuned.